All right. Um, for those that know what this is, uh, you know that the beeping can be as irritating as uh, as can be. Um, as this thing slowly discharges, it beeps and beeps and beeps and beeps. So um, they're only supposed to really be used to run for a few minutes to stop to get your computer, your work saved on your computer, and then shut down. But now in South Africa, with all our load shedding that we that we experiencing, these things are being used to power routers and modems and various other small appliances. Um, and they beep as they discharge, and it's very irritating. So uh, I just want to uh, show how easy it is to stop that. You basically open up the unit, and all of these units are more or less the same. This is the 24-volt one, so they're two batteries, which I'm replacing because these are buggered. Um, but on all, the, on, on all of these circuit boards, you get a, a thing over here. It says buzzer. All right. So that's the beeper. That's the bugger there. And on the on the um, 12 volt ones, you'll find it on the circuit board, exactly the same place. It's ne it's next to the on and off buttons on the inside here. Um, the procedure to disengage it is very very easy. Uh, depending on your skill level, you can unsolder it if you want. But what works very well is just a pair of pliers and you basically just rip it off. The top part comes off uh, quite easily and uh, you're left with something that looks like that. Just damage it in any way that you can. Um, take out your rage. It's a nice thing to take out your uh, load shedding frustrations on that buzzer. Anyway, so put it back together again and you won't have any buzzing. It's, uh, it really makes a big difference. Obviously the buzzer's purpose is to let you know that it's uh, running down or that, it's, that the UPS is operating. But we're pretty expert at um, this by now, so we don't need to be reminded when our UPS is working. Um, it, it also uh, warns you when the battery in your UPS is running low. I mean that's the main that's the main point of it, um, but you should be using these UPSs to power devices that can run for hours and hours and hours on these batteries. Uh, routers pull very few amps, um, so these things normally last two hours. Although these batteries are old now, they're not they're not lasting the four hours just pulling a, 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 a fiber router and. A, and uh, associated um, systems. It actually really is a small drain, but on a dead battery, it's enough to kill it. So um, these batteries are sold out now, very hard to get. All my outlets are saying that their supplies are depleted because these batteries aren't lasting. With load shedding, these batteries are dying very quickly. These chargers built into these UPSs are not very powerful chargers. They're not designed to boost uh, this all the way from being flat to full in a few hours before the next load shedding because these things were only designed as emergency things where your the outages were very rare. And so they've got a very gentle chargers built into them. I don't even think they're one amp chargers, uh, which means seven amps if this is flat, which you should never be totally flat. Uh, if you go to halfway... Um, say 3 amps, it's going to take 3 hours to charge, but in, that's, uh, in an ideal world it's always uh, factor in many losses along the way for that. So, yeah. And every time they do drop below 50%, uh, it, they get weaker and weaker every time they charge up. It takes longer to charge up. And if these things go flat, 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 um, you basically got a lifespan of a few months with these things. So they are flying off the shelf like hotcakes, uh, according to the suppliers. And you do get uh, um, lithium replacements. These are 250 rand each now, current price. Um, uh, the lithium ones are about 900 and something rand. And they are 
uh, what a lot of people are using, but I've heard that uh, they aren't directly compatible with these chargers that are built into these UPSs and various other applications for these particular uh, batteries, for example, gates, uh, gate motors and um, alarm systems and electric fences and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I'm not sure how plug and play those are. Okay, so got the old batteries out. They stuck together. They're just connected in series. It's two 12 volt batteries connected in series. Um, very easy to replace these. A lot of people throw these UPSs out because they stop working and then they buy new ones for 1,000 and something rand when uh, you can just replace the batteries very easily and then they, they work again. Batteries, these batteries are now going for 250 rand each. They're up from 189 rand just a f not a very long time ago. And then you just uh, plop them in. They, they, they literally just clip onto the, onto the terminals. Very straightforward. So yeah, that's it. Anyway, the, the main point of this was to uh, highlight that buzzer, kill that thing, and your frustration levels in life will go down uh, dramatically if you do have this kind of issue. Um, so yeah, that's it.